Hey everybody, welcome to System Test 37. So our theme for today is going to be a kit of Fenwall system, although it's kind of going to be a mixed bag from different uh, decades and years in terms of where the devices come from. So right now you can see up on the notification appliance boxes we have two uh, Wheelock devices. And that's because Kitta Fenwall rebranded Wheelock devices for a while. Um, sometimes they would put their own labeling on them, sometimes they would not. But most of them still carry both the Wheelock model number and the obnoxiously long Fenwall model number. So let's zoom in and take a closer look. Right here we have a Wheelock MBG6 series bell. This has a 6 inch gong. And this is just a standard Wheelock device. It hasn't been rebranded at all. I don't believe that this one ever came off of a uh, fire suppression system, but you do see these very commonly on Fenwall or Kitta installations out in the field. Next up, we have this odd looking device. This is a Wheelock RSS rebranded as a Fenwall 75 00002 011. So there's the first of our really really long Fenwell model numbers for today. So this model number does correspond to a Fenwell strobe that has halon lettering on it so I'm not really sure if the kind of engraved uh, plastic stickers on this were applied at the factory or applied later on but this does match up with one that should be wearing this halon lettering and regardless of where it came from obviously it wasn't put on very well but I bought this about a year ago and Honestly, I think it looks pretty cool, even though uh, the lettering is kind of all cattywampus on this device, but that might be part of why it looks kind of neat. So, let's go ahead and move on. Moving on down to the pull stations for today, over on the left-hand side, we have a Kitta Model B5, which has a manufacturing date stamped on it of 1984. And then over on the right-hand side, we have a Fenwall station. This is a rebranded FCI MS2. And the Fenwall model number is 29-32000-281. So we're going to start things off today with the Kitta B5. And I still have the signal coding on the panel set to a simple zone code from the last test. Because uh, after messing around with that during the filming, I thought it was pretty awesome. So we're going to go ahead and see how that sounds up on the bell. So here we go. So we'll go ahead and sign on that. And there we go. And now I'm going to go ahead and activate the Fenwall station.
And now we have a signal silence for both alarms, and we can go ahead and reset the pole stations. We'll start with the Fenwall station, because that's going to be the easier one to do. The lift handle kind of fell behind the uh, rest of the station here. That was odd. Make sure we don't bump into that and scratch it. There we go. And next up, we'll do the Kitta B5, which will be a little bit more difficult because I misplaced the uh, wrench that fits these sockets here. So, luckily it was loose enough that I could loosen it with my fingers and uh, finger tighten it back up, but it makes things a little bit more challenging. There we go. And we'll close that back up. And there we go. Now I can reset the panel. And for the DMP system, today I'm going to reset that using the key switch up on the enunciator. And there we go, now that's reset. So that's all the system test content I had planned for today, so thank you guys for watching. And for those of you who subscribe to my channel for my fire alarm content, I'll leave you with this fun little preview of some great things to come. And if you're interested in seeing more of this system that I have here, be sure to subscribe and keep an eye on my future videos because I have, should have something uh, pretty awesome with this system here coming up in the near future. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.